In this video, we're going to look at adding 2D lighting to a new project that uses the URP template. If you want to add 2D lighting to an existing project, I'll link that video down below. So in Unity Hub, we're going to click New Project and select the option 2D URP, which stands for Universal Render Pipeline. I'm going to name my project and click Create Project. So we can see our lighting effect better. I've added in some sprites for our background. But looking in the hierarchy, you can see this scene initializes with a Global Light 2D. The Global Light 2D is your scene's main light source. So it's kind of like the sun to our game's world. You can set this intensity value to darken and brighten the scene. Since I want to show you how light works, I'm going to set this to something lower, like 0.2. I'm going to right click and go light and down the bottom these are our 2D lighting options we have. For now I'm going to go spotlight 2D which you can see adds this little orb to our game scene. You can move this around and you'll see it lights up our background image. There's lots of different options for our light like radius which I'll set to something like 5. And we also have fall off strength. If we set that to 1 you can see it falls off very quickly. The light source dims and if you set this to 0 you see it's like a pure cutout of light. I've just added a simple circle sprite to our scene to show you how you can drag your light source onto any of your game objects. And now if we click our circle sprite and move that around, our light will move with our game object. So you can add things like lanterns to your main character or torches. Speaking of torches, you can see our effect is currently a big wide circle around our source. If you select your light 2D and still on light type of spot, in the scene view you can see there's these little arrows at the bottom. If you drag these on up, we can pinch them in and make a sort of triangle torch shape. You can again mess around with the values, adding the radius to go up to make your torch spread further, or the intensity as well. And then if we select our circle objects and pretend this is our player, when our player rotates, we'll be able to search around with our torch. You could use this in a spooky horror. So if we set our global light to be something really low, like 0.02 and make our torch a bit dimmer, our forest has become a little bit spookier. So lighting can be used for some pretty cool effects. If we right click in our hierarchy again and go light, sprite light 2D, as with the default given of the sparkle sprite you can see this shines a lighting effect in the shape of whatever sprite you give for example i can drag in my trees so you can see a trippy weird glowing effect on my trees i don't know if you'd ever want that in your game but there's an option on all lighting you can change the color so you can add creepy red glows make the lighting a bit warmer on orange but yeah nice and simple lots to explore with lights in 2d like this of our character carrying around a lantern if our character puts the lantern away, it gets quite dark, but thankfully, there's some cozy warm lanterns lighting the path too. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add this to an existing game, in case you didn't make a new project to include the Universal Render Pipeline, and I'll link that below. But cool, that's it. Like and subscribe for more. See you later, bye!